uh, trio of crew members who will remain on board the International Space Station. Oleg Novitsky in the uh, red shirt, uh, Yevgeny uh, Tarelkin uh, in the foreground, and you'll be seeing uh, floating into the field of view uh, the new Expedition 34 commander, Kevin Ford. Expedition 34 uh, begins uh, officially at the time of physical separation of the Soyuz vehicle about 15 minutes from now. The trio lined up at the hatchway in the Rosviet module of the International Space Station as one by one, Hoshide, Williams, and finally Malenchenko uh, said their final farewells, uh, hugs, handshakes, as uh, the trio of departing crew members made their way through the small passageway connecting Rosviet with the Soyuz TMA 05M spacecraft uh, before the hatches uh, were finally closed. Uh, the crew members saying goodbye to one another uh, for the final time. On Saturday, it was Williams who handed over command of the International Space Station to Ford, who will remain Expedition 34 commander until mid-March, when Ford, uh, Novitsky, and Torelkin come home after five months in space. Uh, Ford at that time will hand over command of the International Space Station to Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield, who will become the first Canadian to command the International Space Station. Hadfield is scheduled for launch uh, with NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn and Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko on December 19th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Agate, MCC Moscow. Yes, this is Agate. We're here. For page 94, work prep. Have you performed that? And uh, are you prepared uh, for launching the undocking mode? Yes, we confirm at the 01700, we will be ready to send the command. And you can hear the Russian flight controllers talking uh, as we speak uh, to uh, Yuri Malenchenko, calling him uh, under the call sign of Agat, uh, making sure that everything is ready uh, for the uh, actual command that will be sent at 4.23 p.m. Central Time uh, to initiate the opening of the hooks that have held uh, the uh, Soyuz spacecraft uh, to the Rosviet module since its arrival back on July 17th.